Dude, that's a nice snake head, man. This is what I was expecting to catch. Look how gorgeous. What's up? Good morning, my peoples. We are out there once again, and we are going fishing. And I have a weird, like, challenge for myself today. I'm, I got my micro rod, and I just bought a new reel for it since I, I broke my reel in the last micro fishing video. You can see down below in my other videos or whatever. I think I called it micro fishing movie but for today we got a weird idea we found these frogs on amazon that were really 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 small look at these things look here's my thumb in comparison it's literally the size of my thumb and it's got a little blade on the back of it there's only four in there as so i already have one tied on and we're gonna go micro fish for snakehead. <laughs> I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a hell of a day. So stay tuned. We're out there. So on this little micro fishing combo, this is a Cabela's Fishing Eagle 54. So this is like one of the first fishing poles I bought. This is only a six foot rod. And I have a Daiwa Fuego 3K on here because they didn't have the 2500s, but that's fine. And I went ahead, I tied a, a pretty decent leader on, only because we're fishing for snakeheads, so. I have 10 pound braid to a 30 pound leader. Oh my gosh. I could barely make it to the other side of the bank. This thing looks so sick. <laughs> this little mini frog is awesome. I got them on Amazon. They were like, probably like uh, 20 bucks or something like that. They're interesting. I had to get them. These hooks, Hopefully they're not cheap because these snake heads will probably tear them apart. This combo feels great, even though this 3K is a little overkill. Oh, there we go. I, I, I know how to cast this now. He's gotta whip it. There's no way I catch nothing with this. I mean, I look a little ridiculous fishing it, that's for sure, but. No way, I don't catch anything on it. There's some fish on this bank right here. Oh my god, I got one! <laughs> oh god, he's out there. Oh. <laughs> That's actually a good one too. <laughs> I can't get him up. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. He's in there. We gotta wait for him to swim out. Here he goes. Oh. Oh, my, my bail opened. I thought he broke me off. 
Alright. There he is. Leader. There we go. Dude, there we go. And that's why I picked 30 pound leader. Look at that monster on the micro. <laughs> Dude, he absolutely hammered this little frog. There we go. Looks out. Destroyed this little frog. There you have it. Caught him on this little frog. I think they'll little plug where the I don't know if it actually had a plug this thing got smoked though by a nice snake head get the other angle Phew. got a nice one there you go there's a nice one on the the micro setup <laughs> it was so sick catching this guy man Alright. I'm just gonna let him slither his way. Get in there, bud. You're in the water. Let's go. Maybe he'll just chill right there for a little bit. There he goes. Ah, oh, this bank is like five or six feet. All right, so it's literally so hot out that my camera keeps turning off, but we're gonna keep it rolling. Something's just right over here on this thing. Oh my god. He's got me snagged on this. Oh, he's out. He's out. Oh, it's a good one. Oh my God, this is so sick. Oh, he's running towards me. Get up here. Oh, oh, oh my God, it's a monster. Oh, oh. Yeah, get up here. Get up here. No, 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 no. Dude, this is a nice one, guys. Oh! Oh! Yeah, be careful with that braid, guys. This is a, a giant on the micro, <laughs> dude. On the micro, that was crazy. That was so sick, guys. It's another giant on the micro on the little micro frog. This thing, this thing hooks them better than a lot of lures I used. A little cheap Amazon lure, let's go. Nice snake head, look at the colors on this guy. Dude, that's so cool. All right, let's get the hook out, let's get a release. There you go. Barely even hooked. Dude, that's a nice one, guys. Oh my God. Can I get a little light on it? Let's get a release. Smoke the mini frog. Mini Amazon frog. Getting monsters, dude. All right, I'll give him a little toss later. This is fun. This is so fun. Man, it's about to get too hot again and my camera's probably gonna turn off. I'm glad I recorded that catch too, though, at least. All right, let's check the frog. The frog is still looking good. It's two snake heads I've caught. And it's still looks fine. Other than that little plastic part that came out, 
Dude, these hooks haven't even bent out on me. I caught two nice snake heads. Like, I feel like a lot of my typical lures and hooks, they would have been bent out already. But this guy, he's just hanging in there. <laughs> Honestly, I suggest buying these uh, frog lures on Amazon. Go for it. They're, they're sick. <laughs> they actually work really well. I've already hooked on the two nice ones on a six foot like medium heavy I think it's a six foot medium heavy I got my 3k reel on here so this is just this is just fun man that last fight was way too much fun way too much fun oh that's a couch cushion or something only in Florida Beautiful canal, a lot of fish on it. And then you got a couch cushion. It's floating out in the middle. It's doing its thing, providing shade for fish. Why am I only catching like giants? Like I, I literally only had two hits today and both fish stayed on and were huge. They weren't small at all. Oh, something just got off that bank here. Hold on. There's no way he heard me. What is this? Oh, that was cool. Whatever it was, it wasn't small. <laughs> All right, that was the first fish to come off the micro lure. Damn, that was cool. I should have let him eat it longer. All right. It's like that time I was so ready to set the hook and I didn't catch him. That one ate it like a giant too. Like he just barely smoked it right on the surface. So far, how much do I like this lure? I give it, I give it like a seven out of 10, honestly. Seven or an eight. This lure is sick. The fact that I have four more, and I'm still on the first one, is crazy. I stopped recording for a little bit, so I couldn't really fish from any places. I saw something like that. Did. There's another nice one. Oh my god, this rod is so bent over right now. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't get him in. <laughs> oh, it's another nice one. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this is so sick. Oh. Oh. Get out of there. In you go. In you go. Oh, oh. I gotta be careful. Nope. Oh, shit. And we have it, another giant. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's giant. <laughs> Where did I get him? They were in my pocket. I gotta go find my pliers, guys. I have my weight scale. That fish will be good out of water for like three hours too, so I'm not worried about it. 
but I literally lost my pliers. Common occurrence for me, I leave my pliers on the floor. I'm gonna just hook these onto my book bag so I stop losing them. But let's get another angle on this giant snake that I just caught. This is so sick, dude. This is so sick. Whew, it's hot, I'm, I'm sweating. But caught another one, another giant. Look at this guy. Dude, this is like five or six pounds, probably. I'd say he goes five or six. I have a weight scale, I gotta wait in a second. The lure is in there. So small too, it's like the size of my thumb. These guys have been crushing it. That is awesome. Another nice snake head. Ooh, let's go. Dude, barely hooked. Literally barely hooked. Came out just like that. Little lure. Oh wait, where's the... I lost my little metal thing. Little metal blade, he might have... No, I just saw it. All right, well, three snake heads. I lost a little metal blade that is on the little frog, but this one's really nice, so, so we'll take it. I have four more, though. So this video's gonna keep going. Dude, that's a nice snake head, man. Bye bye. <laughs> Let me see if I can find that little metal blade. That thing I feel like was a fish magnet. All right, so this lure now lost the blade, so it's just a frog. But just to give you an idea how small it is, look, there's my thumb. Look at that. Probably the same size as my thumb. These snake heads are destroying it. Check my leader, I'm a little afraid, but we're still good to go. That was awesome. Oh, that's a nice one. Let's see, is the frog still working? Yeah, dude, this thing, even if it loses the blade, it still works really well. And I, I was just uh, like working it and I, I barely could tell that snake head was behind it. I saw it last second and he just smoked it. That was so cool. This little frog is putting in the work today. The micro reel, the micro rod, putting in the work today. This thing, I just can't believe this little lure is still holding up. Like the hooks aren't even bent out. I bent out like $15 hooks before I bend these out. Actually crazy. Oh, there's fish right there. One thing that sucks about losing the blade on this is that it actually gave it. <gasps> there was a giant snake head there, no. But it actually put some weight on the lure so I could actually cast it further. Now I'm just kind of whipping it. All right, so we got three giants on the board so far. No little snake head whatsoever. Or small bass or peacock bass. Not one small fish. I just wanted to hit this lure. That was so cool. That was so cool. <laughs> no, don't get me in that. <laughs> that was so cool, dude. <laughs> this guy is definitely smaller than the other ones. Oh. But that was still a cool catch. 
Look at that little guy. Smoked it. Came out of the water for it. The hooks are still good. I barely had him hooked. I don't know why he's bleeding so bad. We'll get a little release on him and clean up here. Yeah, he's fine. Uh -huh. I don't know why he was gushing blood everywhere. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is the size I was expecting to catch. <laughs> Dude, he was barely, he wasn't even hooked. Look at this guy. This is what I was expecting to catch. Look how gorgeous the colors are on this thing. Little snake head. Very cool. That's ironic. I caught a bunch of five and four pounders before I caught a small one. People that say you need to catch big lures to catch, or you need to use big lures to catch big fish. I mean, it's true. Like, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, if you're not, not if you don't want to grind out a big lure and not get a lot of bites, you know, things like that, dude, just fish a small lure. You still have a chance to catch big fish. Well, oh, micro fishing is fun, man. I was hoping to catch something weird right there. But there's just another little snaky. I'm gonna catch like a my cichlid or a largy or peacock. Oh, something on. Another little snake <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> another little one. Oh my god he actually ate the lure though all right another little one bites the dust kind of hooked him in a weird spot so i threw him in quick my camera is starting to turn off now because it's too hot out so I'm just gonna fish this little bit and probably go home. Peacock bass, who hates this? I don't want nothing to do with it. Probably gonna head home for a little bit continue this video later today when it's not so hot out but it is very hot out right now like painfully hot out that's crazy i didn't catch any different species i literally just caught snakehead and i caught a couple of really big ones so I'm happy with the new setup. The little micro setup is way too fun. This little lure is way too good for its own good. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Hopefully I record later today.